Mamma mia, another week, another doomsday scenario. First off, I don't know why there are so many of these articles. Because it's not like there's a powerful solar storm coming our way. It just seems like one outlet has decided, you know what, let's put a scare story up. And everyone else has jumped on the bandwagon because easy clicks. Nothing succeeds more than a good old scare story. Though admittedly, a large solar flare did erupt from the sun on June the 20th. It's one of the largest we've seen this year. This year. Bear in mind, we've been monitoring solar activity since the Carrington event, which is still the biggest, the biggest solar eruption to this date. And that was in the 1800s. Solar storms, whilst they create beautiful northern lights displays, which I'm very jealous of, I have not seen one in my life. Though I did capture this out of my window in February, supposedly when the Northern Lights were visible in South England. Solar storms can overwhelm and damage power grids. They can shut down cell towers and disrupt global communications temporarily. We call this space weather and we do monitor it extensively so that if there is a solar eruption coming our way, we can prepare for it by switching things off. But these eruptions rarely do catastrophic damage that is irreversible. They can also disrupt and knock out satellites. As for an internet apocalypse, whilst it is possible, the odds of it happening are minuscule. The internet has existed for a good few decades now, and in those decades we have been blasted by all types of solar storms, from weak ones to really strong ones. The internet survived then, it will survive others. This is all based on a Carrington event style solar storm hitting Earth today. If a solar storm of similar magnitude were to strike today, it could inflict severe damage on the electro electronics of orbiting satellites, resulting in disruptions to crucial navigation and communication systems, including the GPS time synchronization relied on by the internet. Additionally, a surge of electromagnetic radiation in the atmosphere would induce massive currents in our power grids, posing a risk of electrical transformer failure and triggering prolonged power grid outages. A global internet outage too would happen. The concern over a potential internet apocalypse has revived the earlier speculation from 2021 when a computer scientist issued a research report about the potential occurrence of a catastrophic solar storm within the next decade. However, it says down here, NASA has a permanent watch on the sun to warn about the possibility of such a solar storm brewing on the sun. This it does through many of its technological assets, including the Parker Solar Probe PSP. The spacecraft has been positioned as close to the sun as possible. The mission has provided valuable insights into the sun's atmosphere. Personally, I think the chances of this are minuscule. The sun has these eruptions all the time, blasting it in any direction. And most of the time, we're not directly within the firing line. And Carrington event style solar storms are extremely rare. 